Honduras. I'm here to show us about market updates today. The Fed Governor Bowman said further rehacks may be needed to bring inflation down. Fed Governor Michelle Bowman said on Thursday that further rate hikes may be needed to bring inflation down. She supports the 25 basis points rate hike by Fed last month as inflation remains high and consumer spending is strong. The house market is rebounding. And the job market is pushed, helping push the prices higher. In preparing to address the Kansas Bakers Association, Bowman said, I also expect that the first rate hikes may be needed to bring inflation down to the 2% target set by the FOMC. She also said that monetary policy is not on a preset course and that data will drive future decision making. The future data shows that inflation progress is stagnant. We should still be willing to raise the Fed funds rates as me at future meetings. Bowman often expresses more hawkish views than some of her colleagues. In their forecast released in June, most Fed policymakers expect the policy rate to remain at 5.6% by the end of the year, a 0.25 percentage points above the level that the Fed is at at the last meeting in July. Bowman used a plural form of rate hack in her speech Saturday, suggesting that she believed the Fed to raise interest rates more than once. After the last rate hike, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell left the door open for another rate hike in September, but also hinted that quarter data could allow a pause in rate hikes. Bowman noted that there has been some progress in inflation, with annualized inflation falling due to 3% in June from 9% in the middle of last year, according to the widely watched consumer spending index, consumer price index. The recent low inflation data is positive, but as, but, but as I consider further rate hikes and how long the federal funds rate needs to remain at a restrictive level, I'll look for some sustained evidence that inflation is meaningfully falling towards our 2% target, she said. I will also watch signs for our slower consumer spending, as well as the signs of loosening labor market conditions. The Labor Department's monthly job market released but on Friday, showing that hiring slowed in June, but the unemployment rate remained at low at 3.5%. Bowman noted that there are still far more jobs available than workforce available to fill them. Banks are also continuing to raise to increase lending to households and businesses, although at a lower pace than when interest rates were low, and credit has not contracted significantly since the banking turmoil in March, she said. Renaissance Macro Research says the U.S. government could be mired in debt for the next 30 years, which could spell disaster for markets in the economy. The research firm noted that a recent forecast by the CBO showed that the Fed debt to GDP ratio would increase from 98% in 2023 to 181% in 2053, nearly doubling. In other scenario drafted by the Committee for Responsible Federal Budget, the debt to GDP ratio could soar even higher, reaching 225-22% of GDP by 2053. Stephen Pavlik, an analyst at Renaissance Macro Research, said the projections describing the U.S. government to be overwhelmed by debt. Given the current macro environment, the Fed has sharply raised interest rates to control inflation, which could spell trouble for the U.S. Pavlik said in the Friday's report that CBO's 30-year forecast scenario is bleak that raising, rising debt combined with rising interest rate costs could lead to debt disaster. Fed officials have sharply raised interest rates over the past year to curb inflation, raising borrowing costs for bond, bondholders. Interest rates are now at their highest level since 2021, and the target for the federal funds rate was at, raised to 5.25% to 5.5% in July. Meanwhile, the U.S. government's debt servicing costs reached $475 billion in 2022, a 35% increase from $352 billion in 2021. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that debt servicing costs could increase to $663 billion this year, and a total interest payment on the debt could increase to $10.6 trillion over the next 10 years. Rising debt servicing costs are causing problems for markets and economies. Here, historically, the cost of servicing national debt in excess of 14% of national revenue has led to long-term austerity, which can put pressure on the economy and corporate profits. That's all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next episode.